governance is about providing for the people. The people are feeling that the basic goods and services are beyond them. Welcome to Nobu TV Live. In recent past, we have witnessed uh, protests from across Nigeria, wherein some persons are disgruntled about uh, the economic hardship in the country. We have had uh, some of all these protests presenting themselves in manners that portends uh, a danger, as actually was stated by the African Development Bank, which has identified Angola, Kenya, Nigeria, and Ethiopia as a, a potential uh, places where there may be widespread violence as a result of uh, economic hardship. So, but we're not looking at Ethiopia and other places. We're looking at the case as it affects Nigeria. And I have somebody to actually look at this matter with me today. And the name of the man is Gray Amona. He's a veteran. Gray, you're welcome to this program. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Now, yes, there's rising um, cases of uh, uh, causes of commodities and all that in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are witnessing um, some pockets of uh, protests here and there. And sometimes, too, we hear of uh, political party uh, people complaining and they counter complaining. You know, when one says the protest is real, the other one says it's not real and all that. Mm -hmm. So, what is your take on all these uh, anomalies in our system? I'd like to express the view that it is a natural response to mismanagement of the resources of the state. When there is um, widespread hunger, it simply means that um, the resources available are not um, adequately harnessed for the benefit of the population. Governance is about providing for the people. That is the basic definition of governance. We recall General Buhari as a dictator when he assumed duty on 1st January 1984. He said the model for ensuring that governance worked had nothing to do with the textbook microeconomics, mm -hmm. but providing the basic goods and services. Okay. That's all. And Comrade Emilio, if we use that simple, you may say simplistic, or simple is different from simplistic. Mm. It is a simple definition, but it is a simple definition that has actually, you know, been bred into the response pattern of the population. And what is this simple theory? The people are feeling that the basic goods and services are beyond them. Mm. A situation where you cannot buy and consume uh, petroleum products regularly in order to you know provide for minimum comfort it's not possible again a liter of oil you know is beyond you know the the, the reach of the, the, the public servant mm. and then bread has has virtually vanished from the table you know of the middle and uh, middle class yes this nigeria no, again, middle class. so uh gas a uh, kilogram now last week it moved from the usual uh, ceiling to 17,000 naira and a fraction. 1, yes, as we speak, cement is 10,500 naira if, you know, no, you are not a, a bag. You are not current. Okay. I was complaining that it has gone to 12,500. <laughs> okay. Somebody said it's 15,000 naira. So you can say anything you like. So okay. if you like, say it's 25,000, so, you are still correct. So <laughs> your, 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 your economic, econometric intervention <laughs> is even more educative. <laughs> you know, not only for my benefit, but for the benefit of the viewer, and more importantly, for the for the psyche of a gravely wounded population, that statement Mr. President made on May 29th, subsidies gone. Yeah. One man, you know, at a park, you know, in Asaba, in uh, South South, one of the parks in Asaba, in South South, you know, he said, if the fair price reverts mm. to normal, that things will stabilize. Mm. So the protests that have taken place, I don't know whether more are coming, need not liken us to the experience of Angola, Kenya, according to ADB survey. Yeah. Because the backdrop of protest is usually very ominous. Okay. 1966 should teach us a lesson. 1966 was double now, 1st January, the second one, July 29. Then another after that one, this next one, July 29, again, that same date, 1975. After that one, when the when there was a, a brief uh, civilian, a civilian interregnum, December 31, 1983, this one, Buhari came with the diabo. Mm. We should be very careful. 
we should be very careful. The first thing that moves the people to to, to resist is economic. That was a wolo, the sage, unforgettable sage, said after nature, after God, the next thing is economic. Okay, now uh, finally, uh, the labor, you know, the organized labor now, that's uh, Nigerian Labor Congress and TUC, Trade Union Congress, yes, you know, are fixed 27th and 28th mm. of this month mm. as days of protest. Mm. And uh, some police uh, commissioners have promised that uh, they were going to pro uh, they are going to provide uh, the security for the protesters. Mm -hmm. Now, Greg, can you give a counsel mm. to police, mm. the state, the government mm. at various levels, mm -hmm. and uh, the labor unions, mm. such that these protesters coming up 27th and 28th mm. will not escalate? And become something that Nigeria cannot manage. Yes. What is your counsel to these people? My uh, counsel, is... first of all, the three segments, you know, of uh, the the political action structure involved: uh, the police, government, the police and government are interchangeable. Police is an integral aspect of government, and then the the labor community. Uh, government, including and especially the police, should not um, act out of proportion, you know, with the fundament of education ensure that uh, they maintain you know the, the basic rules of engagement then the labor community is is a derivative of the people mm. you and I they represent us mm. and they are hungry and because they're hungry anger sets in mm. so the only thing we uh, advise is they should not allow hoodlums to hijack you know a natural spontaneous process mm. otherwise uh, it will be foolhardy, I know, and fatuous in the extreme for anybody to think that Nigerians are happy mm. at this stage in history. Mm. Nigerians are very unhappy because they have been told that they should be patient. The, you are telling people to be patient and you do not embody patience in your body language. No, no, in a hurry. You say yes. someone should be, should be patient, but mm. you are in a hurry. Yes, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so that is, that is, that's my counsel. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, viewers everywhere you are, you heard uh, from uh, Gray Amona, you know, the, the pending protests, you know, in addition to the ones that are taking place in Niger, Niger State, Nasarawa, Ondo, and uh, some parts of uh, Ogun State, and many more that uh, we don't even know about. You know, Gray Amona is saying, in case there are more coming, especially on 27th and 28th, the organizers must trade cautiously so that it will not be hijacked by hoodlums. And who are the people that can actually ensure that it's not hijacked? It's for labor to identify people that are supposed to be labor union members. Because I've said this separately, labor is fighting for workers. And many people are not workers in Nigeria. So identify your members and ensure that your members are the, good, the ones that are going to protest. And in doing that, give them time frame. If it's going to be from 7 o'clock to 12, so that this thing will not escalate into midnight when you cannot uh, control. So on this note, I want to believe that Nigeria will still work again. Protest or no protest. But even with protest, we should uh, always regard protest as a, a kind of price that uh, the citizens are supposed to actually carry out when they are not comfortable with the actions of government. So, bye-bye. And then, I want to assure you that uh, if you just watched, you can also click the notification button for similar contents and uh, comment and uh, like the program so that uh, we'll keep coming your way with uh, similar contents. Bye-bye.